stuck in it. God didn't cause it, but he'll use it. He'll use to allow prayer to take place. You'll see people on the street kneeling and praying. When was the last time you saw people kneeling and praying that didn't know each other? When was the last time you saw your neighbor? Come on now. That you hadn't seen in a while. I don't know about you. You barely see him now. You see Come on now. And willing to pray. That's all you. Let's pray. I mean, since when? Yeah. It is, I don't know about you, it's been oh, maybe mm. five years. Mm. Literally just actually making contact because we're so. Mm. Now all of a sudden we're, mm. we're taking a pause break to pray. Thank you, Jesus. Others, we come together today. The Lord God is saying that, you know what, we need to get in our spirit man and start decreeing and declaring, I'll be back. You know what, what the enemy thought that he was destroying me, he said I wasn't going to do, I'll be back. I'll be back at school. I'll be back on the job. I'll be back where I need to be. I'll be back in the ministry. I'll be back preaching. I'll be back teaching. I'll be back laying hands. I'll be back. I'll be. He said, I may just have a little delay, but it has not been denied because I'll be back. Thank you, Lord God. He said, the enemy may have slipped in, but I will be back. I decree and declare this nation will be back. We're going to raise up better than what we were before. And that don't just mean the United States. Your family is a nation. Come on now. We're talking about your household because you realize there's a nation in your house. Every time you have one person that's more than a family, plus another, that's a nation right there because they touch somebody. They touch. And we're praying for that to go. They're coming back. Thank you, Lord. All right, Holy mm -hmm. Spirit. Some mm -hmm. prodigals are coming back. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Hallelujah. They're yeah. coming back. He's like, oh, wait a minute. Yes, he said, I'll be. They are coming back. He's like, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. Some of you really want to know. What is it? Do the robin. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Now, see, if somebody really want to go just a little bit deeper about what, but you, you don't have to turn there, but you can make a uh, make a note of it. Deuteronomy 30, verse 1 through 10. It's something to say that I'm going to be back. And, you know, that's talking to a person who walked away from the Lord. I know I'm not talking to anybody in here, but just in case that might be you. Well, you just say, you know, I'm tired of this dog stuff. Nothing working for me. I prayed, I still don't get an answer. And the Lord God says, I'm bringing you back to me. Isn't that just like God? Yeah, I don't know about you, but that, you know, just when you start to run away from him, that's when you slap, he slap you right in your, you know, right in your face. You're running away, and you, do you think you're running? This is you're running. You're running hard. All of a sudden, you didn't run all the way to back. right where you, you started. started. Ooh. I don't want to pray for them. All of a sudden you're praying. Oh, no, I don't want to call them. Hello, hey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're like, oh, I don't, boy, I probably don't want to see them. They're the, who the first person you, the, you're just able to take your mask off. Oh, no, yes. The first person you meet. The one that you said I was not. I just, mm -hmm. that passage in Deuteronomy 30, one that's personal, he said, I'm going to bring you back. I'm going to bring you back to when you first fell in love with me. Mm. I'm going to bring you back to that. I'm going to bring you back. See, you were running, but I'm bringing you back. I, I, that's the only reason. I, I was wondering why the Lord God had me to make a note of Deuteronomy 30, verse 1 through 10, because it's talking about a person who needs to go back to God. You see, and like I said, that might be somebody who feels like, it, you know, that God has not answered that anything for me. I, I'm, I'm running. I'm tired of running toward him. I'm running away. And I'm telling you, the Lord's bringing you back. He's bringing you back. Thank you, Lord God. This thing that, that you're going through, the Lord God said, I'm leading you back to me. He said, I'm married to the backslider. He said, no matter how far you go, I'm going to be right there. You can make your bed in hell, and I'm going to be right there looking for you. That's what I love about God. He is, his redemption plan is that no matter how far I go, he's still going to be right there for me. And God says, I'm bringing you back to me. I'm bringing you back to your relationship. I'm bringing you back. And not only you, say, when I bring you back, I'm going to bring your family back. Oh, Ooh. You see, the reason why your family not bad, because you're not bad. Oh. All right. Oh. You're like, wait a minute, where they come? You know, you're like, well, you know, if they would just get it right, you know, like I said, when you come back, then I'll bring them back. Ooh, what the help they hold it on. So I feel, yeah, right there. Whenever you, as a person, and I, nobody can measure that. That's not a mama, sister, cousin. Only you know where you are with the Lord. Whenever you start praying like you used to pray, when you start seeking the face of God, and you know, putting your face in the book rather than Facebook, when you start doing that like you used to, because you used to do that. You used to pray before you say. You used to get 
you know, leading of the Holy Spirit versus, you know, what you feel. And see, a lot of people miss out on the healings and a lot of things. You want to know why they miss it? You know, God said, I'm trying to bring them back because your, your, your feelings are messing up your healings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Feel like, like I'm well. Well, your feeling going to mess up your healing. Because, see, God says, I'm not, in the, I'm not in your feelings, but I am in the healing. And if you can go beyond how you're feeling and just start saying what I say, you can be healed. Ooh, come on now. I know I'm stepping on some, some tender ground right there because it's like when I said faith talk, you know what? That's why I stand with him because he's able to do the impossible. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he's not just, he's able to do it. Exceeding and abundant above all we can right. ask or think. So whenever you can get out of your feelings, I know that's not in the words, right, get out of your feelings, <laughs> you can get your feelings. You start saying, well, I don't feel well. The Lord God said, by his stripes, I am healed. Amen. You know what, my head is hurting, but Lord God, I know you're about to take this pain away in the name of my body's hurting, but Lord God, I know that you are the healer, that my arm is going to circulate mm -hmm. through my body. Thank you, Lord God. Come on, heart, regulate. Come on, come yeah. on, blood pressure. Okay. Regulate. Come on, come on. Speak of my feet. Come on, feet. Give me feet to be able to leap and run through a tree. Hallelujah. I know I, my, my body was saying, I, my leg feel tired, but Lord God, you said I can run. So I'm going to run. I'm going to run with the horses. Oh, come on now. I'm going to keep up the pace. Father God, as we thank you today, Lord God, for the word. Lord God, we thank you for restoration. Lord God, as I seal this word tonight, and you're saying that we should say move back. You are restoring us. Restoring us, Lord God, from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet. Restoring our bodies, restoring our minds, restoring our health. Lord God, restoring, Lord God, even everything that pertains to us. Lord God, as I pray this and I seal this word over your sons and daughters tonight, your kings and your queens, and Lord God, we are able to say boldly, I'll be back in the name of Jesus. And we said amen. 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 amen.